Hey guys, Tasha here with Busy Modern Mom. I'm coming at you today with a Rite Aid haul and also a Walgreens pickup. But I'm gonna go in store for Walgreens, but I'll treat it like I usually do with my pickup orders on Sundays and go over the breakdown at the end of what I purchase. So as always, I will have a timestamp below showing you when I start the breakdown in case you don't wanna to listen to me chat or you don't really feel like watching the in-store part. So definitely check the description for that. I also have some links in the description for Ibotta if you do not have that. My points, which I will be using today, I believe if you use my code, you will get five to $10 gift card. Last time I checked, I think it was five. Sometimes they up it to 10 off your, you'll get that when you redeem your first receipt. So definitely check that out. And I get a little bit of something too. So I appreciate anybody that does use my codes. So today I'm doing mostly bonus cash challenges because they reset today. And if you did the bonus cash challenges for the last two months, those will be popping into your account this week. I'm supposed to get so much money. I am so pumped, especially with the in-ad booster that we have right now, the spend 50, get 10. If you haven't already, definitely check out Real Deals here on YouTube. She posts four of those codes, so you can do four times, one time each code for the spend 50, get 10. Also, before I head to the store, I did want to mention that I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel with your notification bells on so we can get there. I'm so awkward. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the store. All right, so I'm starting with these soft soaps. They're $7.69 in my store. I'm going to buy two and you get $4 in bonus cash for buying two. And I have a $2.50 bonus cash challenge that I will complete, making the total cost for these about eight bucks or $4 each. As always, I wanted to show you guys some of the clearance items in my store because we have a ton. A lot of these, not a lot, but some of them have I bought a rebates on them. So definitely check the clearance sections in your store. Next, I'm going to grab two of these cotton now for $6.99. When you buy two, you get $2 in bonus cash. And I will get my first tier on my bonus cash challenges with another $2 back, making the total cost for these $9.98 or about 5 bucks each. I'm finishing out my deal with a spend 30 get 10 on Tide products, which is going to submit towards my bonus cash challenges. I should hit the first tier on that. So I'm going to get two of the pods for $12.99. I have a $3 digital coupon attaching to this one and a $3 one attaching to one of these ones. They'll give me $6 off. And I have a $3 paper coupon I submitted for on PNG every day that I printed, which will make it $9.99 for each of those. And I should get $7.20, $7.20 cents back in bonus cash challenges money for this period and then i'll get ten dollars in bonus cash for spending 30. so this is everything i'm getting definitely larger size products than i usually get but i'm pretty pumped i have two of the spend 25 get five dollar barcodes i got from real deals and i have the in ad booster spend 50 get ten dollars off uh ten dollars bonus cash back so this should make this total cost for this around eleven dollars and as always, I'm using my coupon planner. If you don't have a coupon planner, definitely check the links below in my description. You can get your own one. I write down my breakdowns for all my stores, and then I end up coming in and writing down what they ended up costing based on changes in store. Love it. Wow, I got like winded in there. So funny story. I got to spend 50 get $13 paper spend booster. But I was checking out and I was like, wow, I love those coupons. I'm so excited. And the cashier goes, oh, you want it? You're a couponer. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. And he goes, I usually just throw them away. I'm like, but the spend 50 get 13 is a good deal because, like, I have the spend 25 get 5 off. So it ends up being, like, $3 more off than using two of those barcodes. So I'm like, I love it. But he was like, oh, you're a nice couponer. The couponers I used to deal with at Walgreens are so mean to me. They'd, like, yell at me and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, with Rite Aid, like, I don't have an issue. If there's an issue... I usually, for the most part, don't say anything because I'm not, like, being confrontational. But, like, the other thing is Rite Aid customer service always credits me. So I never have an issue with them. I can send them an email and they credit me, like, later that week. So why make a stink and, like, be weird and just, like, ruin relationships in stores that you go to pretty regularly if customer service will credit you anyways? So I'm the same way with Walgreens for the most part. I usually will, like, just do the chat with them. Because there's no point in, like, arguing with people in stores. If you've seen my prior videos, like, at CVS, I've tried saying stuff at CVS because their customer service is not great. And they are just <laughs> awful. They do not know how coupons work, and it's a pain. Anyways, I'm going to Walgreens now to pick up an order. I'll show you in store, but I'm probably not going to go down, like, what I'm purchasing for the most part, and I'll go over it in the breakdown. 
I'll see you guys in Walgreens. Look what I found. 80 cents. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna try to do a transaction before I start, just to see if I can get a fun booster. 30 cents for these Walgreens brand baby wipes. Yes, please. I'm grabbing this Unstoppable. It's $3.99. I have a $2 digital coupon for this one. I'm planning on paying for this transaction with mostly Walgreens cash, but like I said, I'm trying to get a spent booster. I'm going to grab some of these sanitizers too because I'm running low on my car stockpile. So that transaction was $4.44. I paid with $4 in Walgreens cash, and I got my earned $9 Walgreens cash. We spent $40, which I'm going to use with my next transaction. Only reason I did that. <laughs> So the $3 toothbrush, and it all sold out. So I'm getting the $4 ones. You buy two. I'm going to pick that up. Two of those for $4, eight bucks. You get $3 for extra rewards. Brings down to five. And there's a $3 coupon making it $2 or a dollar a piece. So L'Oreal LV was $5.49 each, which would be about 11 bucks. There's a $2 off IBC coupon, digital one. You can clip on your account, bringing it down to $9. And I had a $4 off for only for you coupon that I got. It makes these five bucks or two fifty dollars each. So I'm going to roll these into my transactions. And the main reason I came to this place today is these little critter gummy bites. They are $12.99 each, which will be about $26. Bucks. You get $5 register reward when you buy two, making it $21. I have a $2.50 each. I bought a rebate for them to bring down to $16. And I have, when you spend $25 in health and wellness, you get $7 in Walgreens cash. Oh my god, I can't do math right now. And then there's also a my points offer for I think it's 1340 points for these, which will convert when we get home. But it makes these like five bucks or so, I believe, for both of them. So definitely snagging those. And then I have my spin booster I just got, and I have twenty dollars in register rewards I can use, ten for my Nivea deal I did last week, and two five dollar ones from my Cascade. So my out of pocket should be pretty low. We'll see. All right, guys, I am home now, and I put everything out. This is everything I did end up getting between Walgreens and Rite Aid during three transactions. Don't mind the semi-clutter over here. <laughs> but yeah, so this is everything I did end up getting, and I'm going to go over the breakdown with you. So let's start out with Rite Aid. So at Rite Aid, I purchased these three bigger tides, the two soft soaps, and the con now. So in total, retail, those are $68.33 for literally these items right here. $68.33 retail cost. And that's the sale price retail cost. I think that's a little crazy. Inflation is nutty, super nutty. My subtotal was $49.33. That was after $3 digital coupon, $3 digital coupon, $3 paper coupon from P&G Everyday website. And also from my two 5 off 25 barcodes I used. I earned back $26 in bonus cash, $10 for when you spend $30, which would have been the Tide, $4 when you spend over $10 on soft soap, and $2 because of the Cottonelle, buying two of the Cottonelle. And the in-ad spend booster, spend 50, get 10. I also will be earning $2 in bonus cash challenge money for spending to the first tier for my Cottonelle. Two fifty dollars for completing my soft soap challenge, bonus cash challenge. And seven twenty dollars for hitting the first tier of my tied bonus cash challenge. So those, I will not get that money until the first week of November, but I'm not too worried about it. As I said earlier, this week I am getting my bonus cash challenge money from my July and August challenges. So you do get the money and I count it as it's money I'll get eventually. <laughs> so that made my grand total cost $11.63 for everything you see right here outside of the Febreze there. eleven sixty three, which is an 83% savings, which, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm like, why do I have seven items? It is seven items, <laughs> which is seven items at $1.66 a piece. These ties were $12.99. The soft soap was like $7.49, and these were $6.99 on sale. So overall, great deal. All right, let's move on to our next transaction, which was this little Rite Aid one I did because I wanted to try to get a paper spend booster, which I did. So these were 30 cents on clearance and 30 cents for wipes, even if they're store brand, is a win-win in my opinion. With little dinos on them. I got three of these little hand sanitizers, which I'm going to put in my car because I'm running low on my car sanitizers. When I wash um, 
Yeah, I'm going to wash. When I pump gas, I like to sanitize my hands afterwards. And this head and shoulders was 80 cents in my store. There was a coupon attached into it, but because it was under the amount of the coupon, I think in store it didn't pick up. If I ordered online, it would have price adjusted to make it free. But I'm pretty sure that would not have picked up on the, whatchamacallit, Walgreens website as on clearance. So I just got it for 80 cents. So those, this transaction right here, this, the retail cost was $6.44. And then my subtotal ended up being $4.44 because a $2, oh, I forgot I also bought this with this transaction. I had a $2 digital coupon for this. So it brought down to $4.44 for all of these items. So I did get my paper spin booster that I was hoping to get. And I also got this printed out. Get $5 in store rewards when you buy two participating Tresemme hair care products until September 9th. I don't know if this was in the ad, but it did print and I figured I'd show it just in case it was a Catalina promotion that wasn't really advertised. I also got a ton of paper coupons today. This pay today, never heard of it. Purchase two or more Angel Soft Sparkle or Quilted Northern and receive $3 off your next. So I'm assuming it's a $3 register reward. And what else? $3 off Advil Children. So yeah, interesting. All right, on to our next transaction. So my last transaction, which was the transaction I initially went into Walgreens for, which was these two little critters at $12.99. These L'Oreal LV at $5.49 each. And then these Oral B at four dollars each. The three dollar ones were definitely wiped out. If you want, to, if you want to do the three dollar deal um, for the Oral B, there, do it probably Friday when they restock the store. So for digital coupons, I had a digital three dollar off two Oral B coupon, and I had a digital four dollars off two LV and a store digital IVC coupon for two dollars off two that came off. I did not have any coupons for the little critters. So my retail cost for this transaction was $44.96. My subtotal after the coupons I mentioned was $35.96. Yes. I was like, where did that number come from? $35.96. I earned back $16.42 in Walgreens cash because these little critters were part of the spend 25, get $7 in Walgreens cash. Um, promotion that was going on so I did earn it for those and nine dollars from my paper spend booster when I spent 40 that I got in my transaction prior and then the 42 cents is just everyday cash you get back I did submit to my points and I did earn 13 1360 points which converts 0 0.006 to eight dollars and 16 cents for the little critters so if you don't have my points the link is in the description below. Like I mentioned prior, there is like a $5, I think you get enough points for like a $5 gift card or sometimes it's $10. So it depends on when you do it, but definitely check it out. I got a $3 register reward back for the Oral-B. I did not get the register reward for the Little Critters. That was last week's promotion. The tag was still up though. Just a heads up. And I did submit to Ibotta for $2.50 back on the Little Critters for a total of $5. So in total, that ended up costing this transaction after rebates $12.38. In total, though, my Walgreens transaction retail was $51.40 with a cost of $16.82, which is 68% savings. Pretty good. So in total, for everything I got between both stores and all three transactions, the retail cost was $119.73. That was after sale prices and clearance prices. And my total cost was $25.45 after rebates and rewards I earned back. At 19 items, that is $1.33 an item or 79% savings today. So that's amazing. $25.45 is pretty much like buying these three products at the sale price and getting the rest of this free. So <laughs> think about that. Couponing, sometimes it might be a pain and like, difficult to like navigate deals and stuff but overall it's definitely worth it toilet paper is so expensive laundry is so expensive vitamins are so expensive wipes 
All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm planning on doing a giveaway around 500 subscribers. It'll probably be right after I hit 500. I'm thinking about doing a digital gift card. I'm not quite sure. So definitely make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.